This era of basketball is coming to an end. LeBron James is known as arguably the greatest basketball player to ever walk this earth. And even if you don't have LeBron as your GOAT, you can't deny the impact he's had since he stepped into the NBA. We don't think there's any debate anymore. GOAT or not, LeBron is the best all-around player to ever play the game. He's a great finisher, great dunker, great passer, great leader, great scorer, great rebounder, and once upon a time, he was even a great defender. Honestly, him being a mediocre free throw throw shooter was only fair, because just imagine if James shot above 80% from the free throw line, he'd be perfect. And every all-time great has a flaw. Shaq couldn't shoot a free throw to save his life. Michael Jordan only shot 32% from three for his career. Kobe Bryant wasn't the best passer. Magic Johnson only shot 30% from three for his career. And the list goes on. There is no player in NBA history who was perfect, but LeBron and Jordan are definitely the two closest. And this isn't a Jordan or LeBron debate, because they were both the best players of their eras without question, and they both left unbelievable records and accomplishments in their wake. But LeBron is still going, even at 38 years old. And even he realizes just how old he's getting. When the Lakers faced off against the Houston Rockets, Jabari Smith Jr., who's a 19-year-old rookie, told LeBron he played against his dad, Jabari Smith Sr. So if that doesn't prove things are changing, we don't know what will. Made me feel old as crap, too, James said as he laughed it off on NBA TV. He even said, you feel old, don't you? And I replied, absolutely. I've had the pleasure and the opportunity to play against a few father and son combinations, like Gary Trent and Gary Trent Jr. It's been a great ride, man. In these last 20 years, I've been able to see a lot of players come in and come out. So it's been nice, and it's been an honor for me. We can't even begin to imagine what that must have felt like to hear Jabari Smith Jr. say that. Playing against someone's dad and son all in the span of 20 years is just unbelievable. But the honest truth to everything is this. LeBron James is getting older. He can't impact winning like he used to. He can't carry a bunch of average players on his back anymore. He needs more help than ever. And we could already hear the comments now saying he always needs help. And our argument to that is so does every NBA superstar in NBA history. It's a team game, and the league isn't filled with highlight reel ballers on every single team. And if you want to win consistently, you have to get some help. Jordan had Pippen and Rodman, and not to mention one of the deadliest snipers of all time, Steve Kerr, and don't forget about Horace Grant. Magic Johnson had Kareem, Kobe had Shaq, and vice versa. Larry Bird had Kevin McHale, Bill Russell had Bob Cousy, and the list goes on. But the point is, he now needs help more than ever. And let's make one thing clear. James is still a top 10 player in the NBA. It might seem like he's some old washed up player at times, but in fact, he's averaging 29 and a half points while shooting 50% from the field and also still being a top two finisher in the league. However, it just doesn't have the same impact. And even last season, when he nearly won a scoring title, the Lakers were still awful. That's something that would not have happened in 2018 or even 2016. Plus, he's been injured more during his time in Los Angeles than at any other point in his career. From the ankle to the groin and the hand injuries, and now his foot is hurt badly again, and each time he's missing more and more time. Injuries that once took a few days or weeks to heal are now taking several weeks to even months to heal. It's not like it's anything out of the ordinary either, because obviously the man is 38 and has played a lot of professional basketball at the highest level for 20 years straight. And even though LeBron is known as an Iron Man, it's kind of sad to come to the real realization that LeBron's career is inevitably heading towards an end. And the same can be said for one of his biggest on-court rivals, Steph Curry. We're not saying Curry's career is coming to an end immediately, but the baby-faced assassin isn't so baby-faced anymore. He's now 34 years old, and by the time this video is released, he might already be 35. Steph being 35 is just insane, but much like LeBron, even at an advanced basketball age, he's still one of the best players in the NBA. And the thing is, Curry has gotten better in our opinion, and his biggest improvement being on the defensive end. Because remember back to the golden days of 2015 and 2016, he was often exposed and even clowned on due to his lack of defense. And the Warriors had to try extremely hard to hide him on defense, especially in the playoffs. Now, things have changed. And we're not saying he's a lockdown defender, he's not. But he's much better, mainly due to his added strength and physicality. He can and does hold his own. 
But even with that being said, things aren't the same in Golden State either. They did just win a ring last season, sure, but this year things are totally different. You have the Draymond and Jordan Poole incident. You have Klay Thompson, who while he has been playing great, he still isn't the same Klay he once was, especially on the defensive end. And it's not as if this is all a bad thing, we're just pointing out that things are drastically changing. Instead of LeBron James, Steph, and the Warriors running the league, there are multiple new faces and teams that have sought to dethrone them. Start Starting with the Greek freak, Giannis. Giannis is 28 years old, which means he's right in the middle of his prime, and he's arguably the best player in the NBA. He's like no other player we've seen before, and although we've seen a few freaks of nature like Shaq, Wilt, Bill Russell, and even down to MJ and LeBron, Giannis may just be the most unique specimen of them all. He's 6 foot 11, weighing about 240 pounds of pure muscle, and not to mention he's got a 7 foot 3 wingspan. And not only that, but his speed, strength, and agility allow him to cover ground impossibly quick. And that's only part of what makes him so special, because he's a defensive monster as well. He's an elite defender who can guard just about anyone on the floor, while also being one of the best, if not the best, help side defenders in all of basketball. And don't get us started with his lovable personality. It's literally impossible to dislike the dude. But for the next fresh face of the NBA, we have to go a little bit younger, Memphis Grizzlies star, Ja Morant. And unfortunately, Morant has been going viral recently for all of the wrong reasons. But that doesn't diminish what he can do on the court. He's a great scorer and an even better dunker, and he honestly might be the very best in-game dunker right now. He averages like one poster level dunk every other game. He's an absolute freak of nature. But it's his dances that really relate with the younger fans, and that's what makes him so popular and so entertaining to watch. He's someone who will be in the spotlight for his entire career. He's just that good. And although a lengthy suspension is probably on the way, we see Morant learning from and bouncing back better than ever from this most recent incident. But the young faces don't stop there. Anthony Edwards is just 21 years old, and he's already showing signs of entering superstardom very soon. He has the physical tools and the mindset that every NBA fan loves, no matter what age range. He just wants to go out there and destroy his opponents and win games, and he's doing exactly that. The Ant-Man is averaging 25, 5, and 4. Then you have the 6'9 scoring machine, Jason Tatum, who has proven to be one of the most elite players in the NBA. Or the 24-year-old rising superstar SGA from Oklahoma City, Embiid in Philly, Donovan Mitchell reviving Cleveland, the Joker on the verge of becoming a three-time MVP in the Mile High City, and of course, Devin Booker heating up in the desert or Zion Williamson banging and crashing in the South. There are tons of new faces who are both incredibly skilled and incredibly entertaining to watch. While it is sad to see LeBron, Steph, Durant, and Lillard all aging into the twilight of their careers, the amount of skill and excitement we have in the league is greater now than it was when they were all in the prime of their careers. Oh, yeah, and of course, how in the world could we do a video about the new guard of the NBA without a little bit of magic? Luka Magic. At just 24 years old, Luka has established himself as a top three player in the NBA, fourth at worst. Out of all the players we mentioned, Luka may just have the best career ahead of him. He has had an incredible start to his young career, and while there are many rising superstars, Luka is rising faster than anyone else. He's a bona fide superstar. While James, Steph, and KD are all still playing amazing, the new generation is here. And with Luca leading the charge, the league is in great hands. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.